Hello, in this video tutorial you will learn how to install Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. Okay, step 1. First you have to download Microsoft Virtual PC from a Microsoft website or search in the Google by Microsoft Virtual PC 2007. Now I have already have downloaded the file of Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 service pack 1. Now on the setup double click on the Microsoft Virtual PC. After clicking on the Microsoft Virtual PC software, the setup wizard will open. Click on next. Click I accept the terms and condition. Click next. Give the appropriate name which you want. I already given cool. Now click next. From here you can also select the appropriate permission. I am selecting everyone on this computer. Now click next. After clicking on next it will sh show you where do you want to install a Microsoft Virtual PC. I will change the location of Microsoft Virtual PC to the drive F and I will type V P C then I will click next now click OK and then click on install installation wizard will take little time once the wizard is finished installation complete now click finish after clicking on finish close this then click on start click on all programs and there you will see Microsoft Virtual PC click on Microsoft Virtual PC when the first time you will open the Microsoft Virtual PC console it will look like something like this now welcome to Microsoft Virtual PC now new virtual machine wizard click next create a virtual machine now click next give the appropriate name or gi and give the appropriate location by clicking on the browse now I will select e drive on the e drive create a new folder the name of v p c now you can select any drive which you want open a drive give the appropriate name to a machine let's say I want to install Windows Server 2003 so I will give 2003 and click on save once clicking on the save click next here automatically the machine will appear Windows Server 2003 you can also select any other machine which you want although I am going to install Windows Server 2003 and click next after clicking on next it will sh show you using a recommended RAM or you can also adjust the RAM from here now let's click next now it will show you the existing hard disk or a new hard disk or let's say I don't have an old hard disk old virtual hard disk so I'm going to create a new virtual hard disk to create a new virtual hard disk select the second option and click next after clicking on the next button you can give the appropriate name to a hard disk from here now click you can also give the appropriate space which you want to give to a hard disk then click next and then click finish after clicking on finish you can see the machine appear here it is showing not running to run the machine click on start now this is a blank machine it does not have any operating system now we have to install our operating system to install operating system we will take up to 2003 cd it will something like this now I'm going to insert 
insert the CD to a CD ROM. After inserting a CD to a CD ROM, go to action button and click the restart the machine. After restarting the machine, press the enter two or three times. Search on virtual PC, the virtual machine which we created. Now, as you can, it is totally the same procedure as you, you install any other. Okay, now, now you know how to install and configure the Microsoft virtual PC. So I'm going to. Now, once you have click on close, there are two options. One is turn off the machine, or other one is save state. That means you are saving the virtual machine state as it is. Now, after closing the virtual machine, now let's see one more thing. Let's open the Microsoft Virtual PC. Now you can see the save is showing saved. Now if you click on start, it will open where you closed it. As you can see. Now let's close this. Let's see <coughs> now let's create one more machine. Click on new. Click on next. And now let's add a existing virtual machine which I already have. Now click next, then click browse and select the location where you already have a virtual machine. Server 3. This is my virtual machine which I previously installed. Now click. Now click next. from here you can select the virtual hard disk click on browse and here you can see the virtual hard disk now click open and click ok now as you can see the machine is not running now I can open click on start and the machine As you can see, Windows Server 2.3. Okay, thank you for watching our this tutorial. In our next tutorial, you will learn much more cool stuff. So don't forget to watch. Okay, I'm closing this now. This tutorial was presented by Sachin Sami, powered by techdotpdcrise.com.